Assalamu alaikum. We are PharmD students from University of Baghdad, College of Pharmacy. I am Mawadda Mu'ayyad and with my presentation partners Noor and Ola, we will talk about the randomized clinical trial of Edelimumab and Etanercept in treatment for psoriasis. This is a screenshot of the study. First of all, we need to know what is psoriasis. So, black psoriasis is a common chronic systemic illness that is characterized by a combination of inflammation and epidermal thickening. This leads to red and scaly black lesions on the skin, which can be itchy and painful and results in substantial impairment of physical and psychosocial functioning. Symptoms may also lead to emotional distress, a sense of stigmatization, worry, embarrassment, and compromised health-related quality of life. Biologic drugs like adalimumab and etanercept show improvement in treatment. However, no direct comparison exists between them. In direct studies, suggest adalimumab is more effective and this study uses detailed patient data from separated trials to offer a clearer comparison of the two drugs, showing adalimumab generally provides better outcomes in reducing symptoms and improving quality of life. The objective of the study to compare outcomes between two drugs, adalimumab and etanercept in the treatment of moderate to severe plaque psoriasis. Now about the methods that used in this study. Study groups included patients randomized to adalimumab or placebo and those randomized to etanercept or placebo. Study design randomized placebo controlled phase 3 clinical trial and etanercept was given a dose of 50 mg twice daily. And we must mention that randomization is often considered the gold standard because it minimizes bias and ensures that the groups being compared are as similar as possible. Patient excluded from the study if they didn't meet the thresholds of a psoriasis area severity index score of 12 or more. Physicians' global assessment of moderate or severe disease applied in the other trials. And patients with a previous exposure to interleukin inhibitors or anti-tumor necrosis factors were excluded. Outcomes measure. Week 12 outcomes were compared between patients receiving adalimumab and those receiving etanercept after adjusting for cross trial differences in patient characteristics using propensity score weighting. Propensity score weighting, which is a statistical technique used to create a more balanced comparison between groups. And after subtracting effects of a placebo, outcomes can measure by psoriasis area and severity index, dermatology life equality index, pruritus pain, and patients' global assessment of psoriasis and adverse events. Finally, statistical analysis p values of less than 0.05, which is considered statistically significant. And this is a flow chart of the methods that includes what explained in the previous slides. And this is my part. Thank you for listening. Assalamu alaikum. I'm the student Ola Abdel Hadi. I will continue the seminar. The result 875 Adani Mab treated patient and 427 placebo treated patient. In other side, 260 intercept treated patient and 130 placebo treated patient. 
Before Proven T score weighting, there were significant differences in a number of baseline characteristics between patients after weighting adjustment. There were no significant difference in baseline characteristic. In unadjusted analysis, comparing outcome for adalimab minus placebo versus those of intercept minus placebo without applying proper score weights, adalimab was associated with higher rate of psoriasis area severity index improvement, achieving psoriasis area severity index 100. Dermatology life quality index equals zero. Psoriatic pain equals zero than intercept. It also led to greater plague sign specific resolution. However, there were no significant difference in adverse event rate between adalimab and intercept. After waiting by propensity score, adalimab treated patient continued to have significantly higher psoriasis area severity index response rate at week 12 and higher mean percentage improvement in psoriasis area severity index at weeks 4, 8, and 12 than intercept treated patient. All B value is less than 0.01. Adalimab treated patients were more likely to achieve sign and symptom clearance in terms of psoriasis area severity index 100, dermatology life quality index equals zero, patient global assessment equals zero, psoriasis related prioritis equals zero, and psoriatic pain equals zero compared with intercept treated patient after adjusting of, uh, for placebo, all B value is less than 0.05. Adalimab was associated with significantly higher rate of achieving plaque uh, sign specific resolution when comp compared with uh, intercept treated patient after adjusting for placebo. All B value is less than 0.001. Adalimab was also associated with significantly higher rate of achieving body region specific resolution other than the head region, within which comparable resolution rate was observed between two treatments. All B value is less than 0.01. Rates of treatment related uh, adverse events were largely similar between Adalimab and inter except treated patients. Good morning, everyone. I am Nurse Mariel, and I will continue the seminar. Conclusion. In this indirect comparison of treatments with adalimumab and etanercept in patients with moderate to severe psoriasis, adalimumab was found to be associated with significantly higher rates of psoriasis area and severity index 75 and psoriasis area and severity index 90, as well as with more patients having a skin clearance and plaque resolution over time. The present study adds to the body of comparative evidence for adalimumab and etanercept in the treatment of psoriasis, a head-to-head -head clinical trial directly comparing adalimumab and etanercept is warranted to confirm the results of the indirect comparison reported here. Recommendations Adherence monitoring Poor adherence can diminish the efficacy of even most potent treatments. So, evaluate patient adherence to adalimumab and etanercept treatments is important. Patient satisfaction surveys ease of use and overall treatment experience, long-term safety monitoring to detect any delayed adverse effects associated with either adalimumab or etanercept. This is particularly important given the chronic nature of psoriasis and long-term use of biologics. And also, study the effectiveness in real-world conditions can provide valuable information on how these treatments perform outside the controlled environments of clinical trials. Cost-effectiveness analysis, 
Given the biologic treatments are expensive, it would be beneficial to conduct cost-effectiveness analysis to comparing adalimumab and etanercept. This analysis could help inform healthcare providers, patients, and policymakers about the relative value of these treatments in terms of both cost and clinical outcome. Critique. This study is complex and it is maybe difficult to apply such study in Iraq because of many reasons. Some of them are, there are no specialist research center in Iraq. There's no companies or institutions support these research. Because most of research are costly and it is difficult for the researcher to bear the cost because most of researchers are students. And if the researcher bear the cost, it is difficult to convince patients to do clinical trials upon them because they may fear being assigned to a placebo group or less effective intervention. And participation in clinical trials can require extra visit to clinic, test or follow ups, which can be time consuming. Even so, clinical trial costs are usually covered Patients may worry about indirect costs, such as travel, time off work. This leads to difficult to find the wanted number of the patients.